and we're going to see some Norse v Greeks action. So Crimson and Echo both starting with triple backs. Echo a bit of a clumsy start there, but I don't think he's going to worry about uh, opting to, to restart. He's just going to cop it on the chin and see how he goes. And I think he's uh, feeling a little bit confident. He's taken the first two games, but nevertheless, Crimson now on the Norse. The Civ, I think, probably with the best win rate so far in this series. And it's probably been seen every uh, series. Just given their really, really strong age too. But Greeks is actually a nice Civ to try and play against the, Ro uh, the Norse and the Romans, I think. Given they're also quite a nice age 2 anti-infantry Civ. Lots of options with it. Eka, even getting the academy, because if he gets the quick age 3, which he's already got on the way uh, behind another 3 villages, he can actually get an increased train time upgrade. So he's going to get a couple of barracks. He's in the middle here, just defending. And he's going to just uh, get some Paspis on the way. Doesn't actually have anything cute out of this one just yet, but Crimson got a nice spread of throwing Axemen in the queue. Getting a good number of back, uh, buildings, even adding some stables. On top of the outpost, so a nice mixed uh, army comp here from him. Getting dog training really, really quickly there. H3 on the way. Not actually pretty much the same time between our uh, two contenders today. First range. Second range. Sorry. And third on the way. So, Echo, I just missed that one up there in the corner. So, Echo already has. Th uh, two rangers on the way, a third not that far behind. Try and deal with the, the Norse onslaught from Crimson, who's going to have throwing axemen. Might take into berserkers here, he's going to have stables and uh, outposts for dogs at his disposal. A really nice layout. Norse can probably afford to be quite aggressive with their opening layout, and all the other civs that play into them probably have to play pretty defensively here. But uh, Eka already having taken. Philosophy for increased uh, research time now. Go get discipline for training time reduction. Ashlar masonry behind that to make all these buildings tankier. So some Greek unique tips that just help them play the turtle game a little bit better. And why I think they're a good H2, H3 Civ to try and deal with Norse, Roman and Babylonian aggression. And try and put the nail in the coffin for Egyptian fairly early. At the same time, Egyptian late game. Oh, it's nice, man. If you can survive long enough to use it, man, it's great. The Crimson, he's going to look at pushing now. He's got quite a nice comp. If he just adds a couple more outposts, he's in a really dominant spot here. He's going to have a huge production advantage over the Greek player. These Greeks, they have this nice turtle here, but they are going to be in a, on a production back foot for a lot of this period of this game right now. So, it's going to be hard for him to sneak in all the units and he has to be very careful to not overextend with Toxodes, have them just produce and stop right outside the building, maximize the value against the mass of the throwing axemen, try and cram out as many units as you can here, while, while Crimson in the meanwhile is just looking really dominant with this Norse push, and Eka. Tech through, he does have Gastras in the queue, and they are the units you really need to try and deal with this heavy infantry Norse opening here. But Crimson is looking at getting fortresses and armories and more production behind all this. Echo does really only have about seven production buildings the 12 of the Norse player right now, so I think Eka might be just tapping out in this one. GG. And so Crimson takes game number three. Nicely done, man. Eka not able to get the nice defense, the nice blockade, try and stem any sort of infantry surround on his units. I mean he's, he's got quite tight gaps here but even still you eventually probably just want to throw down houses get even more ranges 
and uh, have like a pocket of archers that can't be hit at all while they just rain fire on the really merely heavy Norse comp. So, GG. Crimson with game number three.